In Bahala, Ka'u Hospital is seen as something of a refuge. In a community that since March 2008 has seen the highest sulfur dioxide levels in the state from volcanic emissions, the hospital is one of the few places with air conditioning and air purifiers. But the hospital doesn't offer a safe room for the community during dangerous fog periods. In fact, it's had to employ mostly Band-Aid fixes to try to keep patients safe. In places, employees have put plastic over windows to keep bad air out. Since the hospital doesn't have central air, it's had to put in small units to air condition the ER, and it mostly uses fans to try to circulate air. The hospital does have what staff call a safer room, the hospital's activity room, and where all patients and employees seek safety during the worst fog events. The reason why the hospital has to be uh, uh, a safe place is because when people are having trouble breathing, where are you going to go? You're going to come to the hospital. Well, if the air quality inside the hospital is sometimes worse than it is outside because the air has gone in and now it's trapped, um, then, then obviously that's a very bad thing. The hospital, which serves the Big Island's entire Ka'u district, has just three beds in its ER, but it sees about 200 patients a month and its rural health clinic sees another 250. I mean, the people we had just yesterday from the recent high fog levels, I mean, they would have been much better served if they had a place where they could retreat to, a uh, place of safety right next to the volcano where, um, where their lungs wouldn't be exposed to these particulates and sulfur.